Hey Bethlehem. When I was in seminary, my husband and I were members of a congregation, a small church in our neighborhood. We love the church. It still has a special place in our hearts. We made some really dear friends there. But there was one thing that frustrated us. You never knew how long the worship service was going to last. Sometimes it was way under an hour, sometimes it was about an hour, and sometimes it was way over an hour, so far over the hour that those who were waiting to worship at the next service had to stay outside the sanctuary, and then it just created chaos. People's schedules are busy. Many prioritize worship on a Sunday morning, but it's not the only thing on the schedule anymore. So consistency matters. So to provide some consistency for our worshiping community, wait for it, there's a change on the horizon. Now this is a change to how we do things. It's not a change to the core of who we are. We remain and always will be a worshiping community centered in word and sacrament. Beginning in early August, we're going to move to um, an alternating pattern of Holy Communion and Baptism every other Sunday. It has been such a blessing to celebrate communion every week, and it is such a blessing to welcome people into our family of faith. Having both at some services and not at all services has made it really challenging to plan for consistency with our liturgy and our musical offerings at the different places from where we worship, at the Minnetonka campus, Minneapolis campus, and live stream. So here's the plan. Beginning August 8th, we're gonna be going to Holy Communion being served at all the services on the first, third, and fifth Sunday of the month, and Holy Baptism on the second and fourth. So August 8th, we'll celebrate and welcome three new people into our family of faith. We'll celebrate with those families. And on August 15th, there won't be any baptisms at those worship services, but we will celebrate Holy Communion. And going forward, it'll happen every other week like that. Again, this begins August 8th. I want to thank you for your continued participation in the life of our congregation. Thank you for your continued commitment to do the work that we get to do in Jesus' name inside our walls and out in the world. And thank you for holding things lightly as we've had to continually adjust logistics in the reopening and gathering for worship. We are still learning and things are still changing, but I'm be grateful to be figuring this out with you and I'm grateful for God's steadfast love and mercy that sees us through. I think about Psalm 150. Praise the Lord, praise God in the sanctuary, praise God in the firmament, praise God's mighty deeds, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. I give thanks and praise to God for you and for this life of faith we live together. Be well.